So hello and welcome to Vets Diary friends. Today I have with me Dr. Nawaz sir. He is a civil servant and today is very special because uh, he is a student of veterinary science and his optional was also veterinary science. So today you all will get a deep insight about how we can clear this exam using vet science as an optional. So without any delay, let's start the video. You chose vet science as an optional. So sir, please kindly elaborate that why did you choose it as an optional? And what was your strategy regarding this subject? How can we prepare in a best way for veterinary science optional? Uh, first of all, thing is that I have given five years for a particular subject. So why I would like uh, to waste those five years? First point. Second point was I was comfortable with this uh, with the subject very well, and also that I main thought was that yeah, first of all I have to. Uh, go through this general study, which is very new for me, because the bulk of the syllabus. So after that, if I have to choose one another uh, subject of optional, then I have to give one more time for any other option, which uh, which would also be very new for me. So I was not very comfortable with these art subjects, and so I thought that in uh, technical uh, subjects, if you hit the main uh, points, it would be a very scoring. And also in veterinary science, whosoever the seniors I have met, Doctor Bilal, uh, Doctor. Uh, Mm, Shahid Iqbal Choudhury uh, and Dr. Oves from our areas, Jammu and Kashmir, they had very scored well, 316, three, some uh, one more uh, senior I had met, uh, Dr. from Karnataka, three has scored uh, 360 something. So I thought he is uh, scoring also. So and also other other one more consideration for considering uh, veteran options is that I have uh, analyzed the papers that in every optional out of 500 marks, there would be some 50, 60 marks that would not be directly in part of syllabus that uh, candidates would not be having any idea about. But if you are, you, are, you are from that particular background, you would surely attempt some or the other part of that, uh, uh, those 50, 40, 50 marks. For these reasons, I uh, opted for veterinary uh, sciences. My strategy was not that um, uh, complex, but uh, my strategy was first, uh, I went through the um, syllabus, then I uh, collected those relevant um, uh, material like books, notes, uh, whatever I had in the UG. Then I um, uh, went through the newspaper of last, uh, in, during any years, I went through the almost 20 years uh, previous year question paper. Then I collected subject wise. So through that, I got an idea by how they ask. But now I uh, advise to the aspirants that they should go through the um, uh, previous question of last five years, both from the in, uh, civil service exam, also from the Indian forest exam. Because uh, they ask the question from uh, civil services to the forest first, so there is very usually a type of, uh, they repeat the questions in both exams. So I collected all those questions, uh, question papers. So accordingly I uh, prepared. Uh, for uh, um, as far as the note making, I uh, in, during initial part I was not having an idea how to make uh, notes. But later on, later on, I made notes for some uh, uh, subjects like uh, veterinary, um, epidemiology, medicine, surgery, for which the material was just segregated for nutrition, genetics, um, physiology. I was having that consolidated notes of the uh, UG or some from some university or here, here and there. So I didn't prepare notes. But for diseases, uh, this and all, I prepared short short uh, notes and for LPT also I got uh, I just read from directly from the um, book that uh, standard book of the milk and standard book of the LPT both uh, meat uh, technology as well as the slaughtered house voila. so all these uh, I, I didn't make the notes uh, but uh, in some segregated part I made the notes okay so sir did you have your notes till now Yes, I have uh, some uh, some notes I have uh, with me. If someone wants, but it's very very bulky to make PDF of those. Okay, yeah. Okay, so uh, doctor, what uh, do you prefer? That uh, recently, um, two of our uh, seniors also uh, chose. Uh, they are they are selected in civil services only, and uh, one optional was anthropology, and one optional was geography, and to, uh, your optional is veterinary science. So, what do you think that which one is more scoring according to you? Because anthro is also becoming a choice for veterinarians. 
because they think it is related to veterinary as mbbs uh, those students who are doing mbbs they are also opting for anthro so many of us veterinarians also thinking of op opting anthro so what would you advise to them uh, in uh, yes anthropology some part of the syllabus uh, um, they coincide like that uh, um, cell division that uh, evolution and all we are very uh, well versed from our 12th class only so but uh, it depends upon how you are comfortable with your subject. Uh, some uh, people give the reasoning that uh, veterinary science is very bulky, we don't have the resource, uh, um, uh, easily available resources and all. Uh, but I, as far as I uh, see that, I see that uh, veterinary science is a very good scoring subject. Uh, if you are very strong in your veterinary science during your UG times, you have another advantage. You can because I have seen uh, um, a lot of uh, candidates who had attempted the exam with me, even though they have not qualified uh, because they were not well with the GS. But in uh, veterinary side, they would easily score 280 plus, 270 plus. So uh, because in UG they had a good OGPA and all that, so they would also not seriously prepare this veterinary science. But uh, uh, for other subjects, if you are not comfortable with the veterans, then it's very uh, dangerous also because the syllabus is very huge, very bulky. But if you are comfortable, if you have the uh, resource of your UG, the uh, notes given by a teacher, they are like a, a diamond for us because in uh, UG, the teachers usually prepare the notes uh, from consulting different two, three books. So they are a very important source of uh, for, for the uh, main exam of the, of the veterinary science. So, but uh, what subject you choose, it's uh, depend upon your uh, uh, comfort. As far as scoring is concerned, I think in every subject there are candidates who score very high. Very score high. People usually blame ki uh, a pub ad um, is usually score less or geography is score. But if you uh, see the higher level of the uh, uh, candidates, those who are selected from geography, they easily score uh, 280, 290 or even 300. So it depends how you grasp, how you are comfortable with the subject. So it all depends uh, on your personal choice. But if you have worked hard for five years, I would suggest ki bhai, why to waste those five years. Definitely, sir. So, sir, how did you practice answer writing for veterinary science? Did you join any test series or it was the five and a half year experience, five and a half year experience that you used for it? No, I, and I neither I, I need, uh, did a practice for answer writing for veterinary science, neither I joined any test series. But, uh, but I usually uh, had a, um, what we can say, a design of answer for a particular topic, ki how I would write if this answer comes uh, into the exams. For technical questions, I would prefer for flow chart in LPT, you usually know, in milk and all this flow chart and all. And from other anatomy type, I usually draw the uh, di diagram also. And uh, in nutrition, I would usually hit those important bullet points of that uh, DCP, TDN, and all those technical points. I will, that was the main uh, technique. I didn't uh, do any uh, writing practice. But I collected the previous year question paper and I tried to attempt those previous year question paper, which gave me an idea ki how to attempt those questions in that particular time period of three uh, hours. If you like the video, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Keep watching with Starry.